Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Bob Soot to have a brute force attack. To view every HTTP request, you will need to attach Foxy Proxy on your Firefox browser, which will route all the requests to Burp Suit. And then Burp, inside the Burp Suit, you will be able to view all the requests and tamper with them. Then Burp Suit will send the request to the target website and the request will trace back the same path and get back to the browser. So first of all, let's attach Foxy Proxy to Firefox. Here I have already installed Foxy Proxy. So go to options, add, I can write title as new proxy. IP address is 127.0.1. This is the IP address of your own computer, port is 8080. Well, you can think of where could I find this IP address and the port number. For that, you can head over to Burp Suit, go to Proxy, Options, and here you can see it says Interface 127.0.1 and the port number is 8080. And here it is listening, that's why it says Proxy Listener. After that, head over to your browser, save this setting, and we are good to go. This is the page I would like to attack, so I'll just go over here and turn on new proxy that I have just created from Foxy Proxy. The username is Poppy as I already know and the password is something I don't know about. I'll just write here 1234. Let's try the login. The page is stuck right now but you can see over here in Burp Suit the proxy bar is highlighted and the intercept bar is highlighted. Click over here. This is the request I am sending right now. You can see here Poppy and password is 1234. But the point over here is Burpsuit has intercepted this request and it will not allow this request until you press forward. And it will keep intercepting all the requests made by your browser. But you don't want that. You don't want to intercept all the requests. So what we are going to do is we are going to turn off the intercepts. Now Burpsuit will not intercept any HTTP request but it will log all the requests in the target tab. So over here in the targets tab, you will be able to see all the requests that are being logged over here. So let's go back over here and try to log in once again. It says incorrect credentials. And now in the target tab, there is bf.es.codingliquids.com, the domain we are attacking over here. So go to this target. Now, whenever logging in or uh, Whenever we're changing any data on the server, the request type is usually post. It is not get. The pointer is it could be anything else but not get. So right now we are concerned about post request because logins happen in post request. So this is the request in which our login ID and password most probably is. So right click on this and send to intruder. Now intruder tab is highlighted, open it. The target is correct, port is correct. Go to positions. We don't want to brute force all these positions because we already have certain information that username is Poppy. So clear all the points. After that, we'll add just brute force symbols on just the password. So select password and add the symbol. We'll, we'll go over to payloads. Now there are di different types of payload list. Simple list, you can have a list of uh, payloads that you can try. You can uh, load the list over here, click on load. It will provide you the file names and you can load your preferred text list separated by new line. We can have runtime file, custom iterator, numbers, dates, a lot of things, but right now we want brute force. That is the combination of every possible character in the character set. Select brute force. It, say it tells us about character set. We know that the password is from A to D. So we move all of the characters. We are left to A, B, C, D. Payload count is 256. The maximum number of attempts it is going to make. And click on start attack. Now it will slowly attack the server. 
we know that the length is going to change for the correct payload because the length of yes is 3, length of no is 2. So basically when the server returns invalid password and valid password, lengths usually differ. So we'll sort by length. And over here we can see the payload it was ACBA, length was 467, that is different from the others. And it is most probably the correct password. We can see the response over here as well. As well. In the response it says logged in true. That is, this is the correct password. We can stop the attack right now and close this window. First, we'll check it over here. Poppy and ACPA. Log in and it locks us in. This was the flag that you were intended to find out. And uh, this is the Poppy's main account. And congratulations.